hi guys welcome back to my channel so anyways let's start off here I'm applying hard candies primer this is a 12 hour power primer so here I grabbed the white paint from the Moran palette I did mix it with a little bit of the water and I was using my flat brush this, that was like an elf flat brush and then I switched it up to I have no idea the name of this brush but you can actually use a sponge it the reason I switched it up was because it was leaving me streaks with the first um, brush that I was using and I was not liking it anyway so moving on with the eyes here I grab some of the black paint and with my MAC 242 brush I'm just applying this uh, paint underneath the eye also on the lid and kind of bringing it halfway uh, covering the brow starting from the inner corner and going like kind of halfway in a slant so anyways I am gonna be very honest with you guys here I did download a picture from the internet uh, a picture of a skull just to help me kind of paint um, that image onto the face I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying but I did not outline I was just going honestly freehand so I did switch up my brush here because I wanted to start outlining around the mouth area because that was the hardest part for me and here, this is an angle brush. This is a bedellium angle brush. I will list the name of the brush below. And I'm just doing the same thing outlining now on the other side of the face. By the way, my model could not sit still at all. Anyways, so um, I grabbed the black eyeshadow. In this case, I am using one of the black eyeshadows from the Lorac Pro Mega 3 palette. Or is it Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette? Something like that. But it's the Lorac palette. And I'm just shading around uh, where I've created um, the black um, areas basically around the eyes. I'm just shading around it because I want it now to give me some shadow and depth to these areas. Now here I went back to the small brush and I grabbed some of the back, that black paint again. Um, and I wanted to look more deeper so I switched it up. I went back to that and now I'm grabbing the eyeshadow to deepen it up but yet give it some shadow within the center of it. And working around the temples as well and around by the ears. So now anyways what I'm doing here I'm just shading in a little bit more. Honestly just have fun with this. So anyways now this is where we're going to create highlight basically to the skull face and I'm just bringing out um, by the cheekbones where these highlights are basically going to pop. So I'm doing the same thing around the mouth area basically cheekbone if you want to say it I anyways so yeah doing that and around by the ear as well. So I want to share a really big tip with you guys that I've learned. Um, anywhere that you highlight or apply a shadow, you want to make sure you highlight. If you apply a shadow, you want to make sure you highlight that area. Just like that. Anyways, so now I'm going in and applying a shadow with another uh, flat brush. And I'm just grabbing the black and just outlining on that. Uh, by the si the sides of the mouth and now here I'm grabbing um, a fluffy blending brush and a maple from the Lorac palette and I'm just shading in a little bit because I want it to be a little more realistic around uh, the brow area the center of the face and on the sides of the forehead because later on, uh, we're going to add more of the black shadow just to deepen it up and make it look even scarier. Here I grab that same uh, angled brush that I use on the side of the mouth. And I just applied two lines and then I went in and I just blended it out um, with a little bit of the black eyeshadow to give it more like a meaner look. Now I'm applying the white paint around the mouth and with the angled brush the bedellium one that I was using before I'm um, applying a straight line across the mouth and pulling it out a little bit because this is where I'm going to be applying the teeth okay so now in order to create the teeth you're going to do like little triangles around the mouth and upside down triangles on the bottom part of the lip just like this 
and I shaded it in between of them with the black eyeshadow and a fluffy MAC 217 brush. So now to deepen it up a little bit more, I grabbed um, some of the black paint from the Meron palette and I'm applying between the teeth, not um, just basically between it to give it more depth. And now I'm going in here with a Morphe M170-40 brush and applying the white paint again to make the teeth pop a little bit more. And trying to give it more like a shape, not um, make it look really realistic so they do not look like little triangles. And now using that same brush, I'm pulling it, dragging a little bit down to make it look like real teeth. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for the top ones. And then just dragging it up. Now you can actually start to see they're coming to life. Now I'm going to be working on the nose, the skull nose. This is really easy. Um, just always make sure you leave that those two little points at the top and then shade in the rest. And what I shaded in, what I painted is with the black um, paint. Now... With this area here, I'm applying the white paint because I want the brows to pop a little bit more. And I'm just using the Morphe M170-4 um, brush. And now I'm shading in a glen. A glen. Oh my god, guys, sorry. I'm shading in again with a black, the jet black from the Lorac palette. Just going in where I want it to add a little bit more depth. I'm doing around the nose because I felt like it wasn't, like I felt like it, there was still too much white showing. Of course, my model cannot sit still once again. And this is the fun part. I grabbed um, water and I was just, um, <clears throat> I could have actually poked him in the eye so he can start crying, but I didn't. I just grabbed some water and it's creating some fake tears. This is actually my favorite part. I felt like it was perfect with this look. So this is my last Halloween video. I want to wish everyone a happy Halloween and a safe Halloween. This is the final result. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.